When Fidel Sanchez retired six years ago after decades as a machinist, he felt ready to live within his means. Cuando yo me retiré, mi ingreso con el retiro era suficiente para vivir, pues no como rico, pero sí bien, más o menos. Pero empieza la pandemia. Entonces todo empezó a subir. Sanchez lives in a one-bedroom apartment in University City. He says he started out paying $1,700 a month on rent there. At the time, the median rent for a one-bedroom apartment in San Diego was $1,950. Five years later, he spends $2,700 a month on rent. In June, the median rent for a one-bedroom apartment was $2,350. He's considered moving, but says there aren't many better options. Me gusta este lugar porque es muy tranquilo. Ya he ido a otros lugares, Chula Vista, es decir, y realmente las rentas están muy iguales a esta zona. Entonces, ¿para qué me muevo? Sanchez is one of more than 200 participants in San Diego County's rental subsidy pilot program, meant to help older adults stay in their homes and connect to county services. Before getting the subsidy, he says he had to ask his daughter for help paying rent. This spring, the county's program started sending $500 directly to his landlord each month. No es tanta la presión que tengo ya de 500 dólares, porque tenía que buscarlos. The county launched the rental subsidy pilot program in early 2023. It's now accepting applications for 160 more households. Participants must be at least 55 years old, pay more than half of their income on rent, and meet an income threshold. The cost of housing continues to soar, and many of our seniors, older adults, are really living on low and fixed incomes. And so they're really, what we found is they're really having to choose or being forced to choose between, you know, paying rent, eating, buying medication. And, you know, the data tells us that the older adults are literally, um, you know, representing the fastest growing age group of people that are experiencing homelessness in, in San Diego. Nearly half of unhoused older adults surveyed for this year's point in time count were homeless for the first time. Jimenez says homelessness can happen for lots of reasons. Losing a spouse might mean a sudden loss of income. An unexpected medical event might bring a hefty bill with it. They were with partners or with spouses. Um, they were working. Um, and then there's just some kind of an event or something that occurs. Researchers surveyed thousands of homeless adults across the state in 2021 and 2022. Over and over, they heard that a little bit of financial help could have kept them in their homes. Had they gotten um, three to $500 a month, had they gotten like a one-time payment of five to $10,000, or had they gotten something like a housing choice voucher, which paid the difference between 30% of their income and what their rent costs, it would have stabilized things and then allowed them to not have the downward spiral. Kushel says that intervention helps both people and local governments that pay for social services. If they can get into shelter, that's really costly. A lot don't get into shelter, but they're cycling in and out of our emergency department, our hospitals. They might need to go to a nursing home when they otherwise could have avoided it. So the truth of the matter is if we don't spend these small amounts of money, we're spending it on the back end, but for really bad outcomes. In San Diego County, more than one third of renters over 65 spend the majority of their income on rent. Sanchez is getting other types of assistance that help pay for food and cell phone bills. He and his wife have been on the waiting list for housing choice vouchers, also known as Section 8, for four years. Pero no la han llamado. Dicen que más o menos el, el tiempo es de 8 a 10 años para que Sección 8 hable. In the meantime, the subsidy program is helping him stay in his apartment. County staff will connect him and other participants with services they qualify for during the 18-month program. But he says when it ends, he's not sure what he'll do next. If you think you qualify for the county's pilot program, you can fill out an application online. More information is available on our website, kpbs.org. Katie Anastas, KPBS News.